I want us to say hello to two people, to Paul and to Timothy. Paul's an old man. His job is to tell as many people as possible about Jesus. Timothy is a young man. He's really close to Paul. They're like a dad and a son. Paul sent Timothy off to carry on telling people about Jesus. Timothy was really sad to say goodbye. Paul's in prison for telling people about Jesus and he knows he's going to die soon. He writes a letter to Timothy to say, keep going, keep following Jesus, keep telling people about him, copy what I did. Now, where Timothy is, there are lots of people who are teaching and living the wrong way. They want to make themselves really important and have lots of friends, lots of fans. Paul knew this was wrong. He wanted to keep Timothy doing the right thing. In his letter, he wrote this. But as for you, continue in what you've learned and become convinced of, become sure of, because you know those from who you learnt it, and how from infancy, from when you were a very little kid, you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. He's saying, keep going, Timothy. Keep doing the right thing. You know it's the best way of living God's way. You learnt it from good people like me and your mum and your grand when you were younger. We're all following what the Bible says. It makes us wise, shows us the best way to live. It tells us that we need to trust that Jesus saves us from sin and death. Don't be like the other people. Keep doing the right thing. Then he writes this. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, and rebuking, which means telling off, correcting and training in righteousness so that the servants of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. He's talking about the Bible. But why is the Bible so important? Why is Paul talking about the Bible when he knows he's going to die soon? Why do Sam and I keep talking about the Bible in church? Well, that's because the Bible is God's word and the Bible gives us everything we need. We like seeing that song, don't we? All scripture is God breathed. It's one of my favourites. And it reminds us that all the words in the Bible come from God. They're not just from some random person who wakes up one morning and thinks, hmm, now I'm going to write a big book and I'm going to call it the Bible and it's going to have God and some other people in and they'll have amazing stories with arcs and giants and kings and miracles in and I'll add some rules and throw them in. No, all the words in the Bible come from God. The God who made everything. In the whole wide world, he made sure that what's in the Bible is just what he wanted to be in the Bible. Yes, lots of different people wrote different bits, but God's in charge. It's all breathed out by him. Try this. Put your hand in front of your mouth and say the word Bible. Let's do it now. Bible. You can feel your breath on your hand, can't you? Our words are carried on our breath. We might breathe out a song. It's a light and a hammer. We might breathe out things about the past. In 1945, World War II ended. We might breathe out things about the future. When I'm older, I'm going to be a footballer. We might breathe out instructions. Add flour and butter and sugar and eggs to make a cake. We might breathe out a message for a friend. Hello Sam, thank you for your card from Peter. 
so we can breathe out different sorts of words. And so can God. In the Bible, there are songs and bits of history and instructions and bits about the future and letters to friends. They're all God's words. They all came from him. So we need to understand them. Now, we know that a storybook is different to a newspaper and that a newspaper is different to reading a letter and that a letter is different to a recipe. And so we really need to understand what type of writing each bit in the Bible is. But all of it is God's word. So we need to understand it and trust it and do what it says. Just imagine the Queen sends you a letter. You'd take it seriously, wouldn't you? you try really hard to understand it and to do what it says. And it's like that with the Bible. Paul wanted Timothy to remember this. All the Bible is God's word. And we need to remember it too. The God who's made the world has given us a book to show us what he's like and show us how to live. This means we need to take the Bible seriously. Read it. We wouldn't keep that letter from the Queen tucked up in the envelope. We open the envelope and read the letter. Now, I find this really hard. I know in my head that the Bible's really important. But lots of the time, I'd rather watch TV or play on my computer or read a different book rather than spend some time reading the Bible. But these words come from God. They're so important. They show me how amazing Jesus is. They should make me say, thank you, God, and love Jesus more and more and more. Maybe this week, try every day to read a little bit of the Bible with your mums and dads. Mums and dads, if you want a bit of help with this, do get in touch with me or Sam, we'd love to help. We don't read our Bibles because it's a rule or because it somehow makes us a Christian, but because it means we get to hear God speaking to us. How amazing is that? The Bible is God's word, so we should read it. The Bible is God's word and it gives us what we need. If I'm going to go and play cricket, I need to put my pads, my gloves, my box, my helmet on. I need to do all that in order to play cricket well. But what do we need if we're going to live life well? The answer, the Bible. Paul tells Timothy that all the Bible is for teaching and telling off, and correcting, and training, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped. That means have everything we need for every good work. So when we read the Bible, we'll be taught. That doesn't mean it'll be like we're sitting in school, but it means we'll learn how to live life the way God wants us to, the best way. It will explain things about the world we can't understand by ourselves. And when we read the Bible, we'll be told off. Now, no one likes being told off, but it's not like some angry, grumpy school teacher shouting at us. We're being told off by a God who loves us and wants what's best for us. And sometimes we have to be told off so we don't hurt ourselves. When we read the Bible, we'll be corrected. God uses the Bible to show us the right thing to do, what the right thing to do is. Like if you get lost in the woods, someone corrects you and shows you the right path to get home. And when we read the Bible, we'll be trained in righteousness, in living God's way. Like Harry Kane has a coach showing him how to get better at scoring goals for England. 
The Bible is our coach showing and telling us how to follow Jesus more closely and with the help of the Holy Spirit to live more and more like him. Anything we do in life, we get taught, we get told off when we do it wrong, we get shown the right way to do it and we get trained and practised doing it. And that's what the Bible does for us, showing us how to live God's way in God's world. The Bible's God's word, remember. Remember the words from him. He's the maker of everything. And they're everything that Timothy needed. They're everything that the people Timothy was going to teach needed. And they're everything that we need now. We don't need to do special actions. We don't need extra special knowledge. We don't need to feel a certain way. In the Bible, we have everything we need. We're thoroughly equipped. But we do need to listen and do what God is saying to us through the Bible. If I have all my cricket stuff, but I leave it in my bag and don't bother putting it on, it's not going to help me when I go out to play. The Bible is everything that we need, but we need to read God's words and do what they say. Otherwise, it's not going to help us. Now, that might be hard. Because it might mean we have to stop doing something we like. You know, maybe making jokes about someone behind their back. We know that's wrong, but we like doing it. It might mean that our friends think we're weird and boring because going to church on a Sunday means we can't go and play with them. It might mean that we think differently to the rest of our class and even our teacher at school about where the world came from. But following God's way always works out for the best. We can trust God. The Bible is everything we need. Paul wanted Timothy to be sure that the Bible is God's word and the Bible is everything he needed to live life Jesus's way. The Bible is still God's word and it's still everything we need to live Jesus-like lives. So let's be people who read the Bible and do what it says. I'm going to say a prayer now. Father God, thank you that you give us your words in the Bible. Help us to read it and do what it says so that we live more and more the way that you want us to, the best way to live in your world. Amen.